Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. It's uh, Rat from Rat Kotaro. And uh, in this whole video, we're going to look into Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon, and as well Capricorn Rising with the general tarot reading May 10th up until May 16th, 2021. And uh, should you be interested in a personal uh, reading with me, guys, or if you do want to take uh, my tarot classes, you can check out the description down below. And uh, there you're going to find a link to my website where you can uh, view and uh, purchase either or both of my services. So with that being said, moving to the Capricorn reading of the week and the first card we do have for you, that is going to be the Tower, uh, followed by uh, the Emperor. Moving next, we have a Three of Swords, followed by uh, the Empress. And the last one we have here, that is going to be the lovers. So this week uh, is going to revolve around crisis management for you. And I have a very good friend Capricorn, which I know that it is standing against a severe crisis in uh, their life. And it's a good relief uh, for me and I hope for them when they look at this reading that the crisis is going to be pretty much managed. But this crisis could be very different for every single one. Of you guys it could be a crisis into uh into your career that you are going to manage it could be a crisis as well into your romantic life the first thing that comes to my mind here when i look at those cards is that you may fall in love with the wrong person uh, while for example you are married or for example you do have a good relationship which is a, a crisis but uh nonetheless very very quickly without wasting any time whatsoever you will be able to gain control over the situation. And so we are starting here with uh, the um, uh, with the tower card. And the tower speaks about a transformation that you are going, going to undergo through, which is signified by rather quite unpleasant symptoms in a sense of that something quite unexpected happens and pretty much almost destroys down whatever you have built. Like, as I said, you fall in love, you crush on somebody and that completely destroys what you have built into your marriage as a perspective, you know, that is just an, an example. But uh, the thing about the Tower card, it is that this transformation ult ultimately goes uh, for a nurturing and cleansing effect upon one's life. And um, how can I say it pretty much allows you to uh, to grow bigger after that that is because the philosophical um the, the philosophical manifestation of the tower it is that look at the tower the tower stands for everything you have built and i'm explaining that into my tarot classes and suddenly a flash of insight you know or just a a, a boat of energy which is signified as an, an event and everything you have built it, it it's threatened it rumbles down but you do have the chance to rebuild it and this time the, uh, to to make it bigger because the tower is a symbol of restriction in a sense of that you built the tower and there is no more room to build anymore so that is the further you go in um, in regards to your current structure and this structure needs to be rumbled so you can build new structure which is much more of your liking of course the destruction is always a, uh, a quite unpleasant experience but as soon as uh, you kind of like uh, pick up yourself together, the build is going to start taking place here as we do have the emperor and the emperor stands for your, in this particular case, into your, uh, how can I say, it's not self-confidence, but it is where you don't lose your cool, you know. We do have a specific word here in my, uh, in my language. This is where you don't lose your cool, you don't panic, you don't uh, fall into depression, you know, or nor you do scamper around with the emperor. You will know exactly what you need to do in order to uh, prevail and to proceed through these I would say a bit tumultuous experiences and um, instead of uh, like I said panicking you are going to roll up your sleeves and take control over the situation which will make uh, its ups and downs being much more bearable and in generally you are to cash in on the ups in a severe state and as well diminish the downs to a severe state as well. Um, <clears throat> Also with the Emperor, uh, how 
can I say, those that, are, that does know what you are going through will quite admire you for seeing how strong you are. So that's what the Emperor stands for. Important thing to be acknowledged here with the Emperor, it is that um, a dignity does not dictate the whole truth to be told, especially if you are, if this crisis is coming from a uh, adversaries, nasty people, you know, it's just keep the most for yourself and just say what people need to know. But gaining on the control, it's it will be something that it will amaze you as well. You are going to be amazed of what you are capable of. And that leads you to the next card, which is the Three of Swords. And that card in this case, Capricorn, does represent the tenacity. It's actually, uh, in your reading, Three of Swords, it is in a very positive light. And what the card stands for, it is the tenacity to um, to push through things, regardless how much your back is against the wall, right? Because that's what the card stands for here, that the more you are oppressed, the more your back is against the wall, the more the knife is pressing on the bone, the better you perform and the more tenacious you become. At this moment with the Three of Swords, that is where you do accept the things as, as they are. It's just you can't do much about it. You can't change the past, but you can definitely alter the future. And again, instead of panicking, instead of um, uh, being indecisive as well, you are going to take on the lead and, uh, of course, for, uh, because I know the next cards, um, it seems that you're gonna do a pretty, pretty good job. So what I can say here, it is that the, the uh, times of torment, the times of upheaval, the times, the tumultuous times are almost over and they should end um, towards the middle of uh, this week where you truly kind of like pick up yourself together, stand your ground, show a firm backbone and just, um, push forward and uh, right after you start altering your future here or altering the situation that you can exert a influence upon the empress takes place and uh, at this moment towards the end of the week you are now going to have more time to take for yourself a time where you can detach from the situation because the card marks that the crisis had been managed and it's not that big of a sense of emergency anymore and thus you can take some time for yourself to withdraw from the midst of activities and that is going to be very very important because while the crisis had been managed how uh, how exactly you are to settle the whole thing down, how exactly to put a closure is not yet to be identified at that particular stage of the week towards the end of it. And you are going to use that time of, with of withdrawal to um, kind of like think about it very carefully because you alone are going to understand that very well found and, and mature decisions needs to be taken for a reason that at the end of the day, your results or the result of those decisions, may they, may they be bitter or sweet, are something that you will have to swallow down. And now on the bright side here with the Empress, uh, this is the moment where you are to start making um, long-term plans for the future. It's a very good career card speaking about solidity of one's position due to crisis managing as we saw beforehand and uh, in terms of relationship the card could speak about as we all know pregnancy it could speak about plans for wedding plans for moving in together or just plans of you know uh, what kind of a person you want to attract in your life so you know you'll be happy but not just only the plans guys but also taking the necessary measures for it okay so it's not just gonna be empty words or wishful thinking here you are definitely gonna take uh, the uh, the efforts and the measures in order to make those plans happens and at the end of the week here it is the decision itself that you are gonna make with the lovers card and I don't know what kind of a decision you're gonna take because like I said the um, situation is going to be different for each one of you Capricorn but the lover states that through that decision making that you are going to do at the end of the week um, you are going to resolve all of your problems it's just your problems are going to not just only resolve they will dissolve 
Uh, and uh, once you make up your mind about the situation and about your plans for the distant future, it's just you're gonna end up in a harmony with yourself, with your surroundings, with your career, uh, and with your relationship. And as we're speaking about relationship here and the lover's card stands at the end of, uh, at the, end of the reading, uh, that is the moment of acceptance in the sense of that you accept your partner for who they truly are and they accept you. Now, this does not uh, grant a, um, a relationship longevity. What I'm trying to say it is that the masks are going to fall down and you will see them for what they truly are and you're going to accept that. Are you going to agree with it? Well, that's a different story. And the same thing happens from the other side as well. But one is certain, at least you ain't going to waste any time no longer. So with that being said, Capricorn, uh, this was your weekly general tarot reading, guys, May uh, 10th up until May 16th, 2021. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it. A pretty good job. It is what you're going to do, you know, get, get, uh, picking yourself up together and uh, just annihilating the problem. Uh, and uh, we are going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.